Stay home, stay alive, save the NHS. Take it and it's wrong. You hang me out to try. I can see you. Enough of that. Well. <laughs> well. 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 Adam, you're ruining the game. Ruin everything, you simp. <laughs> Yeah, he's got I... a squirrel in his pants, dude. He's a simp. <laughs> Give us some two truths and a lie, Leo. You ready? Both of my parents were born in Africa. I have a parrot back in Portugal called Justin because I used to be a huge Justin Bieber fan when I was a kid. The first gig I've ever went to was a Green Day gig. Where in uh, mom, Africa so. were your parents born? Uh, my mom was born in Mozambique. My dad was born in Angola. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. How is Justin <laughs> doing? Uh, Justin is doing fine. He lives with my nana. Nice. What kind nice. of breed of parrot is Justin? I have no fucking clue. I know he's like he's not too big though. He's like this small and he's green. It's like this, this big. This <laughs> big. He's this big. And it's also a bird. <laughs> Yeah. Is this big? YMCA. Which which year did you go see Green Day? 2013 or 12. I was at a festival in Portugal called Nos Alive. I'm going to say your parents aren't both from Africa. I agree with Adam. I think the same. I'm going to go with the boys. Ready for the big reveal. I do not have a parrot called Jess. <laughs> shit. Holy shit. Why not? Um. Okay, you guys ready for my third one? I once uh, had to go to school in my dad's shirt because I forgot mine. I was tiny, obviously, when I was in year nine because I was 12. And uh, so it drowned me. And we had PE that day and uh, I obviously had to get changed and everyone laughed at me. I let a stink blow off in a year six exam. Uh, which meant that I got put in isolation and missed a math uh, test. And I once threw up on my English paper because uh, the kid next to me fired and it's not so bad that uh, it made me throw up. No way. I believe it. Because the thing about Adam is that he doesn't like yucky stuff. So you were in year six when you set off the stink bomb. No, no, no. I was in year eight and I was leaving to go to the next school. Did you make the stink bomb? Did you create it yourself? Uh, some kid brought it in uh, and he was like, do you want to set it off with me? And I was like, sure. How did you set it off? He put it underneath a chair so um, it wouldn't be set off until someone sat on it and it broke. The, f the first one, what was that? I had to go to school in my dad's shirt. I believe it, you know? I used to come and stay at my dad's every other like um, weekend and I forgot my uniform on a lot of occasions and so I had to borrow his shirt. Um, Oh, I have no idea. So you threw up on some paper because someone ripped ass. <laughs> kind of just had a rough stomach. Uh, we were doing this English paper that I was pretty nervous about. I didn't feel great anyway. That's so fucked up though. It's like throwing up on his fucking test. <laughs> yeah, what happened <laughs> after you threw up? Well, obviously they took me out to, uh, to clean me up and I had to reset the paper like a couple of hours later. What about everyone else in the splash zone? <laughs> no, but it was quite spread out. I'm going to say... But Adam didn't throw up on his on his English paper. I've never seen you throw up, I think. Same time the stink bomb is weird. I'm saying the stink bomb. You didn't do the stink bomb. I don't know. I'm just gonna say A. Do you guys wanna wanna know? I never puked on my English exam because of uh -huh. that. Have I got all of yours right? I think so. <laughs> my next one. I wore a cardigan to my first ever festival. My first electric guitar was a Fender Telecaster. My first proper gig that I played at was in the upstairs of a private member's restaurant. What was the name of the of the restaurant? It's going to sound dodgy, but I don't remember. I know it was in Soho, so I was 17. What festival did you go to in a cardigan? Download festival. My first uh, electric guitar was a Fender Telecaster. Oh, okay. What colour was it? Black. I put a bunch of stickers over it. Hmm. What bands did you see during the festival? Iron Maiden was one of them. Papa Roach. Ask in Alexandria, um, I saw Enter Shikari, Slipknot were the other ones, and Ramstein were the other. I'm going to go for Telecaster wasn't your first guitar. I'm going to go for the gig at Soho. I'm going to go with C as well, I agree with Will. The truth is, my first electric guitar was a Brian May Red Special, three-quarter size. So, we named our dog after Lemmy from Motorhead. 
from Iron Maiden. Lammy from Motorhead. Motorhead, my official middle name is Jonas. My phone password on my phone is Sausage in Swedish. So your middle name, obviously in England Jonas. it works one way, but in Sweden does it work a different way, written down. It works the same way, but my official middle name is Jonas. On your passport it says William Jonas. Yeah. Is that my, my phone password is sausage in Swedish. What is sausage in Swedish? Korv. 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 Blimey. The lie is uh, your middle name isn't Jonas. Yeah, I'm going with Adam. Yeah, I agree with them. Yeah, my middle name isn't Jonas. It's my first name, William. technically. <laughs> Could we develop alter egos using the Swedish naming system? So, like, we'll have... Jonas Wahlberg, David Callum John Lockie, James Adam Mason. Dude, I'm James Mason, the actor. Can we just call you Jam? Oh. <laughs> All right, Jam. Jam, whatever you say. This oh. is the last round, guys. Cheers for tuning in with Eddie's house. Okay, I nearly drowned when I was a kid uh, in a swimming pool. I used to want to get a cowabunga tattoo. Mm. I had to be rescued by a lifeguard when I was surfing. Well, okay. out of surfing and drowning. A lot of drowning, yeah. What happened for the lifeguard to come and get you the tide was pretty far in and there was a rock formation that the tide was pulling like there was a cross current that was pulling you into the rocks and i nosedived the rope that's attached to your leg like went around my neck and i was trapped in the rocks and shit i feel like that's a story you would have told them so how did you almost uh, drown on the first one i was in america i'm pretty sure and i was like six months old so i was sat on uh, the side of the pool my mum was playing um, catch with me and then she kind of turned around because someone shouted a name and then when she turned back, I was in the pool and I was sinking. Six months and you were playing catch. She was just throwing a ball at his head and catching it <laughs> after it came back. <laughs> throwing a ball super hard at him, just hoping it would fall into the pool. <laughs> Maybe we weren't playing catch, but... All right, change your no, story. Yes, I used to want to get a cowabunga tattoo. Um, Why? Why? <laughs> Cowabunga, man. Mm. There was a film about a um, a surfer who lost her arm, how she overcame it and then like, started to surf again. And I saw that and I was like, Cowabunga, man. Cowabunga, dude. At that point, they were like, it was all Cowabunga. Life is Cowabunga. Was it like, seriously? I think I know what I'm going for. A lifeguard didn't have to come and save you while you were surfing. I would have moved Callum. See, well, that's the story you tell when you're hanging out with people. Lie? is I didn't want to get a cowbunga tattoo when I was younger. Cowbunga, dude. Nice. <laughs> the water hates me and it wants to kill me. I just like the thought of just your mum throwing stuff against your head. <laughs> <laughs> all right. They're all school related. Technically, I am a high school dropout. I went to five schools before joining BIM and doing the diploma. The highest grade I ever got on my GCSEs was a C. What schools did you go to? Before joining Diploma? That's a good question. <laughs> Give me a minute. Ham Street Primary School. Ham Street! And I moved to Egypt, so I went to MBIS. Is that then... the program about the spies? No, 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 no. That's, uh, that's totally spies. <laughs> <laughs> moved to Kuwait, and I went to Tez and Nez. Number five was I moved back to England, and I went to Fairwood or Redham House. What grades did you get in your GCSEs? I got five C's, a D and two E's. Unless any of my future employers are watching this. <laughs> in which case, I got fucking A's, dude. Straight A's. Technically, I'm a high school dropout. How Why? You that by? I left school, high school, <laughs> before I finished it. <laughs> I think I know what I'm going for. I'm going to say you didn't go to five schools before a uh, diploma. I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going to go with C, you didn't, your grades weren't all C's. They weren't all C's. They were five C's, a D and two E's. Highest grade I got on my GCSEs was a B. No! Was it music? Well done. I got three B's. Damn it! At final scores. In fourth place, we have William! <laughs> Well, well done, Will. <laughs> For a booing emoji. Sorry. I'll take it. I need my redemption. Third place, we have moi. A second place, one point away from victory, we have Adam. Oh. <laughs>
And the big winner is once again, yes. Caleb. Yes, 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 yes. I'm the king of everything. <laughs> and thank you very much for, for watching our, our Two Truths, One Lie. Uh, we hope you had fun and we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Need Subscribe to do that. and ring that <laughs> bell. Yay. All right, take bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs>